So far, I've covered how neural networks predict an output through the process of forward propagation. This is a core part of a neural network, and without it, there'll be no point in trying. But as I mentioned previously, there is one more component, and it's what makes a neural network as a concept and in practice truly special. Backpropagation. Before you click away because backpropagation is too hard or something, I want to make it clear that backpropagation is a simple concept and is only as complicated as you make it. In this video, I won't be using an activation function or any fancy error calculations to keep everything simple. At least for now. When you create a neural network, all the weights are initialized randomly inside of a certain range. The most common range being between negative 1 and 1. If you ran a neural network with random weights like this, you would notice that the output is also random, which makes sense. I mentioned in the first episode the solution, but here is that as a more technical example. Like the first episode, I'll be using the network that predicts the outputs based on two inputs, where the output should always be equal to the first input. There are three major steps in backpropagation. Error evaluation, error propagation, and weight updating. In that order. So starting with error evaluation. To get the error of a network, you compare the actual output to the target output. To turn that into a value, you subtract the actual output from the target output. To apply that to this network, we got 0.3 as an output, and we wanted 1. So we subtract 0.3 from 1 and get 0.7. This means the error is 0.7. In this small two-layer neural network, we can skip the error propagation. This means we're up to weight updating. To update a weight, you get the error of its output neuron and multiply that by the input neuron's value, then add that to the previous value. This works, sometimes. Turns out most of the time you need another value called the learning rate. It's a constant value that is chosen based on experimentation. What this does is slow down the training rate to avoid overshooting. To use this, you'll just add it to the formula. So now the formula is weight equals weight plus learning rate times error times input. That's a lot to take in. So here's an example. We already know the error is 0.7 and I chose to use 0.5 as the learning rate. First we'll adjust weight 1. So we get its current value of negative 0.6, then add the learning rate, which is 0.5, multiplied by the error, which is 0.7, multiplied by the input value, which is 1. This leaves us with a weight of negative 0.25, which isn't perfect, but it's closer. We then repeat that with the second weight, which leaves you with this. It's perfected itself for the current situation, which is better. So next you would repeat it with other outputs and inputs until you end up with perfect weights. So that's everything for this video. In the next one I'll be showing you back propagation in a larger neural network. This will involve the error propagation part which isn't any harder than what I've shown you so far. As with any video, if you think I could have explained something better or have any ideas for a future video, make sure to leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and check out some of my other videos. If you haven't already, subscribe and enable notifications so you can know whenever I upload. See you in the next video.